Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tim Yoon, and today we're going to cover clean code using Swift. So we'll cover uh, the solid principles. Uh, this stands for the single responsibility principle, the open close principle, the Liskov substitution principle, the interface segregation principle, and dependency inversion principle. Uh, this was an acronym or uh, a way of coding. Uh, it was uh, very much popularized by Uncle Bob, quote unquote, uh, Bob Martin, who advocated this as a method of writing clean code. And by that, he meant that code that is more modular, less coupled, and easier to understand and test. So today, we're going to be covering the interface segregation principle. And in order to do that in the Swift language, we'll use protocols. And uh, this allows for composition of objects rather than pure inheritance. So let's say that we have a class called uh, human. And the human has the ability to walk and eat. So if we use that as a base class for an adult, Uh, we can say that the adult is a subclass of a human and inherits both the walk and the eat functions. And that seems pretty cool. That's what we want. And then let's say we have a class, a uh, driver, and that person is an adult. And, you know, it, this class also gets walk and eat because of the inheritance system. And then you just create a new func called uh, drive. And this will give the driver the ability to drive. All this seems good, you know, inheritance, uh, reusability, all kinds of cool stuff like that. The problem arises, however, when you create a class, let's say, called a baby. And it's also a human. So we say, all right, the baby is a subclass of human. The problem comes, of course, that a baby cannot walk yet. Now the baby can eat, but it can't walk. So what do you do with that function, walk? Hmm, I guess you could just leave it blank and say, you know, we're just gonna override this the, uh, and just leave it blank. But you know, uh, some coder in the future might say, hey, let's have the baby walk and that's kind of nonsensical. So in order to prevent that, you might say, hmm, fatal error, if you call this function. But again, it does not seem clean. This just does not seem right. And this is where the interface segregation principle has been violated because now you're forcing baby to try to deal with having to have this additional interface, the walk function. So how can we uh, overcome this problem? Well, let's try with a protocol and we'll call it a human protocol for now. And um, let's say that this has a func called uh, uh, walk and a func called eat. Well, if you then say class adult, let's say two, it conforms to a human protocol. Uh, and then you have to put in the protocol stubs. It's like, hey, this could work, maybe, maybe. But the problem, of course, is you have still violated the, <clears throat> the uh, interface segregation principle and forced any class that conforms to human protocol to conform to both walk and eat. And that's the problem. So instead of doing that, we got to break down the protocol to be more granular. 
So instead of a human protocol, we can say can eat. And uh, can eat means you have a function called eat. And you can have another protocol, can walk. And that means you have a function called uh, walk. Now, when you derive a, a class called the adult, I think this time we'll call it three, then it has to conform to can eat and can walk. And what then, what that then does is, uh, okay, hang on a second, there's a little error here. So let me put the parentheses in there to fix that syntax error. And then we're gonna just fix this. And that means that we can now have a class adult three that conforms to can eat and can walk, and then has these two functions. Now, um, we can even create a protocol called, uh, uh, sorry, we're going to call it protocol, and we'll call it uh, ooh, adult three protocol, and then it can conform to can eat and can walk, and that means that we can just combine them now into the adult three protocol, and that would work just fine. And it's a little bit more brief than writing can eat and can walk. Furthermore, you can write extensions to can eat. And you can give it a uh, function, a default function with an actual body. And you can put some code in here to do the default eat. And then similarly, you can add an extension to can walk and give it a function called walk and some default implementation of walk right there. Uh, I'm sorry, I did walk twice. <laughs> I meant to say can, yeah. So can walk, yeah, that's correct. So now when you have extensions to the protocol, you don't even need to have this here because you can just use the default and let's build it and make sure that it builds and build succeeded. So now when you declare an adult three that conforms to the adult three protocol, then you it's now composed of can eat and can walk, which also has these uh, default extensions that give you the default uh, code for how you can eat and walk. So that's great. So let's see how then you can handle a class driver. And let's see if I remember. It was a driver. So we'll just make it call it driver two. And then the driver two then can eat, can walk, and can drive. So let's get that protocol going here, where the protocol can drive means that there's a func called drive. And you can even put the extension here to can drive such that func drive can have a body and a default implementation. And then voila, driver two now can eat, can walk, can drive. And um, that's how you compose these different protocols to create this class driver object. And by having these more granular protocols, you can mix and match in order to uh, get the class that you really want. Now, one thing I failed to mention is that in Swift, you do not get multiple inheritance you only get a single inheritance like many of the other um, software programming languages because multiple inheritance can create a lot of problems. So 
in order to give it different um, characteristics without making them all into one big class, you have to use protocols because you can see you can derive a class that conforms to multiple protocols, i.e. you can compose rather than inherit uh, to develop a class. So um, what you'll see is in the uh, Swift UI example, there will be lots of things uh, that are used like identifiable, hashable, and equatable. All of those things uh, are protocols. They have uh, 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 they can be used in composition to create uh, classes and structs. And that's the other thing is that you don't always have to make this a class. You can make this a struct. And since uh, structs cannot do inheritance, um, you can still compose them with different protocols to give them a default behavior through composition. And that's how you can achieve interface uh, segregation uh, using protocols in the Swift language. Hope that was uh, helpful. Like and subscribe.